Greetings! Welcome to the Roversfield Career Development Institute, the Center for Career Development and Continuing Professional Education. Personal leadership is one of the four major programs of Rovers Philippines, and leadership excellence is the principle we adopt in personal leadership. Leadership excellence is the avenue for the young people and adults alike towards achieving a healthy, successful, and happy life. One of the main areas of development in leadership excellence is career development. Even when we were young as in grade 1, we were asked what we wanted to be and they mean what profession we want to have. We were told to become lawyers, doctors, engineers, and other professions. As we grow, we realize that it is not just merely going to school and study a profession. Sad to note that when we achieve a college diploma, we are still asked for our competencies and experiences. We will be discussing on the fundamentals of career development which will be presented in three series. One, why we need a career. Two, my personality brand and three, developing a career. Aside from the heavenly commandment that from thy sweat they shall eat bread, our own stomach will also force us to find something to eat. But as we live, we will find that we have a lot of needs to be addressed. The foundation of this all is economics. We need to sustain and achieve fulfillment in life by having a successful career. In this series, Why We Need a Career, we shall be able to define the factors affecting our own economy. We shall be able to envision a lifelong socio-economic plan and understand the career path where one shall go in his professional life. Our population statistics in the past three years says that in 2010, our population is about 92.34 million. In 2011, it was about 94 million and in 2012, it reached 103 million. The increasing population also means that every year, there is a significant increase of new entrants in the labor force and as well as hundred thousands of graduating students who will be seeking employment. There will be a grave competition in the labor market as the labor force increases in number. Considering the poverty incidence in 2003 to 2009, there is an increase of more than a million people in poverty every three years. The poverty threshold or poverty line in 2009 is 16,841 pesos for a family of five every month. There is a steady increase of about 1,000 every year which means in this year, 2013, the poverty line is about 20,000 monthly. If we will not cope up with the increase in poverty line, we will wake up one day as a poor family. This measure should be considered in planning your socio-economic life. In the employment statistics in 2012, the labor force is 63,253,000 with a high employment rate of 93.2%. The 6.8% unemployment rate is not proportionately low considering the underemployment rate of 19%, which sum up to 25% or about 15 million of the labor force who have employment problems. They are still out there looking for better employment. Considering that the Philippines has the highest unemployment rate in Asia, the problem of employment will still be a concern of our society. One of the direct factors that affect the economy in the family is the inflation rate, the decreasing value or buying power of the peso. The average inflation rate of 5.6% in 2005 to 2010 means that the prices of the basic commodities in the market increases every year by the same rate. If we are buying rice today at 35 pesos per kilo, 
the same rice may increase the price to 55 pesos per kilo in the next five years. If we will consider the problem of inflation rate every year, we should also consider increasing our income every year to cope up with the basic needs of the family. Now we have our concrete reasons to endeavor to improve our socio-economic well-being. The next should be a view of what we are intending to do in our lifetime. Yes, a lifetime. And here is how we will prepare our personal socio-economic plan. In algebra, two points determine street life. In biology, life starts from birth and ends up to death. In personal planning, we have to consider where we should start, what we intend to achieve every five years, and what socio-economic well-being shall we have at the yearning years. Our work life have three periods. The learning period, where we develop our competencies for work. The earning and learning period, where we earn income and continue learning while at work. And the yearning period, where we enjoy the fruits of our labor during our working years. We can start our professional life at about 20 or earlier and end up at about 60 or later. They are not absolute. I am now 64 and still active in earning income as I enjoy my pension. The basis for the personal socio-economic plan is the poverty threshold or poverty line. Determine the current poverty line and set it on your age column. Determine the average annual poverty line and set the projected poverty line every 5 years and 10 years thereafter until at 60 years. Draw the poverty line graph on the personal socio-economic plan and label it as the projected poverty line. In the same manner, set your present income at your age column. From there, project an income much higher than the poverty threshold every 5 years and 10 years thereafter. It will be practical to project an increased income by about 25% above the poverty line or an income increase by about 50% every after 5 years to cope up with inflation. Draw a line connecting the projected incomes on the personal socio-economic plan and label it as the projected income. The personal socio-economic plan lays out the periodic economic trends covering inflation and poverty indicators. With these figures, we can set an attainable projected income for the respective period to ensure the economic well-being of the family. The plan can now be the basis of the economic activity necessary to achieve its goals and objectives. It can be addressed by career development through either a progressive employment or entrepreneurship. Career is defined as a personal course or progress in a vocation or profession through life. The word career came from the French word carrière, which means a race course. Career in turn came from the Latin word carraria, which means track for wheeled vehicles. We can say then that career is a personal progression on a specific vocation or profession through life. Career is the progression in the hierarchy of related jobs in a specific vocational or professional life. This progression through the related jobs is called career path. Generally, in all organizations, public and private, there are groupings of jobs in category. The rank and file or those that performs the works in the various jobs in the organization. The supervisors who leads and directs fellow workers in performing their respective jobs. The middle management who plan, organize, control and direct the functions of their respective departments or division. And top management who establishes the policies, procedures, strategies and resources of the organization to achieve its vision mission and goals. Here is a sample career path. Usually there are three level jobs in mechanics as rank and file. 
helper, mechanic, and senior mechanic. It is common that those who excel in their mechanics job are promoted to the shop supervisory level, and those that develops managerial skills becomes the shop or operations manager. From there, one can establish his own service shop or hold a high position in top management. In the book titled Lee Iacocca, his career path as an engineer went through this way. He became president of Ford and Chrysler Corporation in USA and became a political advisor of an American president. Rovers Philippines would like to share these insights to you, young and adults alike, to have a positive attitude towards career development which will guide you to a healthy, successful, and happy life. We hope we have given you good reasons why we should endeavor and achieve career development. A guide to set your own personal socioeconomic plan in terms of your projected lifetime family income. You should be able to envision and establish your own career path as we would like to ensure a happy yearning period in life. We will issue certificate for participation in this career development program. Please post your views on the three series of these presentations, your questions and comments which we will promptly attend to. Our next series is Personality Brand. We will be discussing your personality and as well enhance it to establish your personality brand which you will use in your career development. We will also discuss job qualifications competencies and other personal aspects in career development. We wish that you also view the next two series in this career development program. Thank you for viewing.